We are now less than 24 hours from the Rave World Part 2 being out in Pet Simulator 99. Thankfully, we finally just got some leaks coming straight from big games as well as some other sources regarding what we can expect to see in the update tomorrow, and some of these will surprise you. This update definitely has some features that we've never even seen before in the game, so you are most definitely going to want to hear about this. From a brand new exclusive egg all the way up to upgraded huge chances, this update is absolutely packed with features, so we have a lot to go over. And if if you do learn something from this video please just give it a like and subscribe for more i make probably the most up-to-date pet simulator 99 content but let's just get right into this video all right you guys so first up as expected we did get a leak about a brand new valkyrie exclusive egg that's supposedly being added to the game now, of course, this will be replacing the current exclusive egg, which is the flex egg. Now, if you guys remember from the video last week, we thought these flex eggs were going to be leaving the shop then, which means that these flex eggs have actually been in the shop for three weeks now, which is definitely a record for the past like four or five exclusive eggs that have been out. And this leak about the exclusive egg has just come out, so we don't even have pictures of it quite yet. According to the leakers on Twitter, there's not even any pictures posted of those pets that are supposed to be in this egg so honestly at this point they could back out and not even put this exclusive egg in the shop quite yet but i don't think it's very likely at all that big games waits up to four weeks for an exclusive egg because even before they were doing this two week exclusive egg schedule they were still releasing eggs every three weeks so i think it's very improbable that we do see these flex eggs stay in the shop for even another week now next up i'll have a picture on the screen here which is the rave machine now we actually got this picture from big games themselves so this is a extremely confirmed leak but as you can see from the picture this machine is going to be some sort of little upgrade machine which we do also have leaks about what those upgrades will be which i will go over in a second but another thing you can see on this picture is that it does say that you spend these rave tickets to get the upgrades this leads us into that second leak which is this picture of the rave ticket that we have which you probably saw on the thumbnail and at the moment we believe that these rave tickets will be used as payment for getting these sorts of upgrades upgrades for the rave world now it is unclear if some of these upgrades will be permanent or they're just for the rave world i would have to assume that these are only going to be for the rave world because there are some pretty crazy upgrades that you'll see in a second now i'll probably just continue having this picture of the rave upgrade machine on the screen while i explain what these upgrades are because obviously i can't show you any pictures of what these upgrades are going to look like but i do have a list of potentially every upgrade we could see from this machine now first of all probably the one you're most interested in is actually an increased chance at getting the huges from the rave world and specifically in the files it does say huge chance from lucky tiles in specific so this will only be the huge that is in these tiles so not the huge that's in the egg or the huge that's in the rave gift bag so it should only increase the chance for this one huge but we are getting three new rave eggs as well so this world will be extended three new areas and we could potentially see a brand new huge be put into the tiles so it might not even be the huge rave kitsune that's in these tiles that we're getting an increased chance of it could be a completely new huge or it could be both huges kind of like how it was in the good versus evil world and then another thing that i forgot to mention is that these tickets are going to be coming from the tiles now this might not be the only place that you can get these tickets from but in the game files it does say that one of these upgrades that you can get from the machine increases your chance to get it from the tiles which means that you will be able to get these upgrade tickets from the tiles themselves so that ticket upgrade is the second upgrade that we get and there also is a third upgrade chance which is an increased chance to get in chance or upgraded in chance now i'm not sure what this is going to be maybe it's just the higher tier of the basic in chance that we usually find on these tiles now the fourth upgrade is actually a double items upgrade which i assume will double whatever item you end up getting from one of these tiles so that could be really good because it could be doubling the huge you get or it could be doubling just the gift bag that you get either way though it should be increasing how much value you're able to get in this rave world so this update does seem like it's going to be making people very rich the fifth upgrade is just a potions upgrade so it should be something like the enchant one and then there's also an increased damage upgrade for the tile world so i guess this will enable us to farm this area even faster so that's always good i also saw a diamonds upgrade that's going to be in here so increased diamonds is really good as well and then finally of the upgrades that we can get from this rave machine is an egg luck upgrade so i'm not sure if this is just going to increase your chances at the higher level stat pets in these eggs 
or it's going to increase the chance of getting the huge from the egg but that's what we know so far typically egg luck in pet simulator 99 means that you just have better chances at the stat pets so i don't want to get your guys's hopes up too much but that's it for the upgrades now, really quickly, I do want to give a moment to shout out my Discord because as you guys know, we do daily huge giveaways on there. As well as this week, we are giving away 1 billion diamonds to some active chatters. All you got to do is be at least level 20 in my server, which means you just got to do a little bit of chatting and talking about trading. And when you do get that level 20, you have a chance to win 1 billion diamonds. The giveaway ends a week from today, so you guys do have a chance to get level 20 if you're not in there already. But we do all sorts of giveaways and have a very helpful community so i hope to see you guys in there but moving on the fifth leak that we do have is actually the rave chest from last week so if you guys watched the video from last week we got a leak of a rave chest that i'll have on the screen here and essentially we can only assume that this is going to be some sort of boss chest or boss thing that we can expect somewhere in this rave world and we did expect this to be in the last update and it never made it in there but we have seen this in the past where they'll go ahead and add an asset a week early just in advance so in tomorrow's update we could see some some sort of boss chest which means that all of the enchants that typically help with boss fights could go up tomorrow so this could be the nightmare orbs the chest breaker enchant stuff like that could go up tomorrow if we do end up getting this boss chest now it's completely possible that they ended up just completely scrapping the boss chest and not putting it in this rave world but i thought i'd let you guys know about it anyways now next up we actually have three new hoverboards that i can only assume are going to be replacing the current hoverboards that we have in the shop so as you guys know right now we have the rich hoverboard the mosaic hoverboard and the supercar hoverboard so supposedly these three hoverboards are leaving the shop and we're getting these three new ones that i'll have on the screen here one of them is a pizza hoverboard the second one is a throne hoverboard and the third one's the popcat hoverboard now this image that we have right here looks like a very rough version i'm sure they will look a lot better in game I'm definitely interested to see this throne one. I think the throne one will look really cool. And I'm wondering if we're gonna be like sitting in it or standing on it. I'm not sure how this is gonna work quite yet. But either way, definitely cool that we're getting some new hoverboards and it does bring up a potential investment if you guys wanna buy some of these hoverboards. But I'm honestly not too sure how it's worked in the past with investing in these sorts of hoverboards. I'm not sure if they really go up much after they're removed from the exclusive shop. I would just do your own research for that, but it is your last chance to grab those if you want. Now, the seventh leak was supposed to be those three new rave eggs, which means that we're getting three new areas in this rave world, which should be pretty cool. Definitely a good addition. And then the final and last leak that we have is actually a new forever pack. So surprise, surprise, we get a brand new forever pack every single week in every update. And of course, I'm just salty because I don't have any Robux that I could actually spend on this forever pack. But to be honest, I probably wouldn't even spend the Robux on the forever pack even if I could. But yeah, if you are interested in this forever pack, it's going to be called the Disco Pack. So the rave world might change a little bit from what we've seen currently but that's pretty much all the leaks we have so far that was quite a bit i tried to go a lot faster in this video so let me know down in the comment section whether you like this format where i try to just speed through everything or do you like me just slowing down and yapping about each individual thing either way though give the video a like and subscribe for more thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you in the next video and peace out